youth workers are so vital for our youth development. If we don't have any qualified youth workers, we wouldn't be able to achieve any of the priority areas under the National Youth Policy. That's why Priority Area 6 is so important. Institutional and youth sector arrangement are some big words that mean say we are going to strong up the youth sector by improving the knowledge and skill sets of youth workers. If youth workers are trained better, then they can help meet the needs of youth more. So it's a win-win situation, and this is how the policy says we are going to achieve it. Implementing legislation to support a more organized youth sector. Implementing training programs for youth workers. Improving dialogue on youth development issues between all people involved in the youth sector. The youth them want action, not a bag amount. So if we can manage to improve the youth sector, the youth them must benefit. When I in at the tokenism thing, we want real youth participation, like we're under priority area four of Jamaica's national youth policy. More youth must be involved in the decision-making process. I mean, youth are already involved at the community level, but we definitely need more. With that goal here, youth will be more involved in decision-making and implementation of programs for the betterment of our country. Exactly, because more youth contributing would be good for their own development and national development too. Having youth participate within the decision-making process is the first step within the right direction for our country. Young people have to make money. And to make that realistic, we have to be involved in the economic process if our government is serious about reducing poverty and increasing the standard of living. In our national youth policy, there is a special mention of employment and entrepreneurship, which will see the government developing new training and apprenticeship programs, and also providing young people with more educational and vocational opportunities. With these things in place, we should be getting rid of discrimination in the job market so persons who are deaf like us can find better paying jobs and things like young people being excluded from entrepreneurial opportunities should no longer exist. We will also reduce or Better yet, eliminate gender inequality in the agricultural sector and high unemployment rates among young women. And we also can't forget the issues of young people finding decent work. From all of this niceness gone, we should be able to contribute more to the economy and help develop a better Jamaican workforce.